Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you a few things that I haul from Dollar Tree. But I have a lot of stuff, not a lot of stuff. I have a few things at home, but I just got some things and I'm on my way to work. So I just wanted to share really quick because and then I go home, I put things away and then I take stuff to work and you know, it's nothing, nothing spontaneous, but I just wanna put it at it as part of my haul. So as you guys know, I'm trying to watch what I eat. So I have a short, Mm, set my short shift today at work and I only get like a little 15 20 minute break so <clears throat> I really don't eat lunch like that in, at work I eat dinner when I get home but I got the I'm sorry about this glare on this light the seasoned pork rinds just so I can snack on and I have a diet Pepsi which I said I was not gonna drink soda and I've been really good drinking water and like you know but today I was like, I have a horrible headache, so I'm gonna like, drink something. So I got a Diet Pepsi. Um, and then I got some some of these. Um, just to snack on my break, and that's it. I got these because I'm gonna take them to Noah. The candy corn drizzle popcorn, these were 50 cents right now. I'm sorry about the glare, guys, and the sun and whatever. But I'm just trying to do the best I can. Then I found these, well, let me show you this. I was looking for Dawn at Dollar Tree and I couldn't find it anywhere because the kids spilled oil on my floor, my kitchen floor. And like for the life of me, really having a hard time of getting rid of the, like the little slip and slide. And since Dawn, it's a, uh, you know, it cuts grease or whatever you want to call it. It's good on grease. I figure I put a little bit with some water and try to like mop my floor with this and then go mop it again with like regular mopping stuff. And so Sainty, Sainty is into little things and like putting them up together and like stacking up things or whatever. I found these cute little cards that I thought were super cute for him for his stocking. I know they had these last year, I think, but I think he will get a kick out of these. So I got him this set because it has like four little different trucks and stuff like that. Oh, it repeats. Does it repeat it? No, it doesn't. No, they're different. And I got him this set with the little truck and all that. So I got him these two because I think he's really gonna like that to put in his little stocking bag. And then I got him this. These are the really, really cheapy, like this is better quality, but this is like the really cheapy Dollar Tree stuff. Well, it's probably not worth a dollar and not a dollar 25, but I figure he will have fun putting the little cars in here. So I got him this little green truck, putting the cars on top and on the bottom because that's what he likes to do. He likes to just place things. And so, I don't know, I just got it because, you know, if he loses them and they're all over the place for a dollar 25, what do you want to No one cares. And um, one last thing. And then I'll show you guys what I have at home when I get home. Hopefully I get to do my haul today. I, you guys know that my son and I love Jack and Sally. And so I was looking for this paper, but I think last year they only had Jack, I think. And it says, cheers to fears. And look at this, look how cute this is. Because since my son and I love it so much, I usually wrap, which is, kind of dumb because it gives it away when I wrap Nathan's presents in this paper because he knows they're his. <laughs> so then he knows how many he has. So, I don't know. I'm sorry. The glare is horrible, but that's not really helpful. But I was so happy to finally found it because the last time I went to Dollar Tree, this lady had like five or six in her shopping cart and I went back and I was like, oh, you took them all. They didn't chew. Little greedy lady. <laughs> But I found one. I found a few, but I only grabbed one because, you know. But yeah, guys, so stay tuned for my other part. Hola, guys. I am back. Um, I think I started a portion in my car. And if I did, that will be the first thing I play. So obviously there will be an intro. Right now I'm just gonna go with the flow because I have a lot of bags here of stuff that's been sitting in my house, guys, for like, I don't know, 
maybe three weeks. I don't know. And I want to share with you guys because I want to put this stuff away. It's driving me crazy all over my house. I have enough on my plate to have a mess in my house. Um, quick update with Joel. He wasn't doing that great. He wasn't. Our normal high rate, heart rate is from 60 to 100. To my understanding, what they tell me, Joel was doing that. His heart was at 180. Fevers were going up to close to 104. He was not responding. He just looked miserable. They do all kind of tests on him, checking for bacteria, you know, all kind of stuff. They're having a hard time narrowing down what it is that is causing Joel's problems. So right away they just say, oh, the brain is not telling his body what to do and we're just gonna they were trying to dismiss him and send him back to the nursing. I forgot what it's called. It's not like a regular nursing nursing where you just throw somebody there, but you know, they kind of like try to help to like give them therapy and stuff like that, which those five minute therapies, I'm never going to get my son anywhere. Um, yeah, guys, they just, the facility that he was in prior before they put the flat back in, deny him because he needs a lot of care and they don't do that so now i'm stuck to whether i find him another place or i find a way to take him home to fly my son home with a medical team because he needs a medical team he cannot fly without being taken care of will cost twenty six thousand dollars <sighs> I have not been given a training to take my care of my son, so I don't understand how this world works. In other words, they're pretty much telling me that Joel might improve a little bit more and this is it for Joel. This is it, this is his life. I refuse to accept that because my son understands me when I speak to him. It might take him a little bit, but the brain still needs, a bra the brain itself, this amazing thing in your body that controls everything. Joel's gone through a lot. His traumatic injury was, it was for him not to be here. So I'm not gonna believe that my son made it this far to just be in a bed for the rest of his life. So I'm gonna keep pushing him and keep pushing him. And so I know I'm always bringing up his GoFundMe guys. I'm always bringing up my Cash App or whatever. And sometimes I get some help and sometimes I really don't. And that's fine. We're all going through. Inflation is ridiculous. We're all going through stuff. We are. Some people tell me, oh, sell, sell his house. His house is so behind that even if I had the 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 authority, the, the, the rights to sell his home, he won't get much out of it. And I don't have the rights to sell his home. And... Um, to be honest, I don't even know if I would even have the heart to do something like that unless my son is like on a deathbed and I have no choice and you're not going to sell a house overnight. It's just not going to happen, especially the way the world is right now, the way the inflation, the way everything's just ridiculous right now. So guys, I really, really want to get my son back on his feet. I really do. I don't want to give up on my son. No mother that loves their children, will give up on their kids. I'm messing with my nail because I just broke it. Um, no mother. Joel's going to be 33 this Tuesday. And um, I'm going to celebrate my son. I am. He deserves to be celebrated. I asked him, how old are you going to be? And he kept raising three fingers because he's gonna be 33. You're not gonna tell me that my son is not there, that we're gonna give up on my kid. I cried so much, guys, the day they told me that. <laughs> it's still hard to accept. So, um, I'm pretty much at this, I'm pretty much begging at this point that if you find it in your heart to help us out 
to donate whatever you can to please help my son. I feel like maybe if I take him home, if I can take a training, take care of him and have him home where I can take care of him, nurture him and push him myself, where I can I be there with him 24 seven, where I'm next to him, where I can actually lift him, sit him up, do all kind of stuff to him. I believe that my son has a chance, just like any mother out there would. So again, if you find it in your heart, or if you can help us out with anything, whatever cash app, I mean, whatever GoFund, the least whatever GoFund me lets you do, no donation is a small donation. So I'm really asking you guys to help my son. Like I said, this stuff has been sitting here forever. The last time I went to Dollar Tree, my car broke. Not that my car broke down. I had a flat tire and I was coming home from work. I needed cleaning supplies because I'm trying to get some oil spilled out of my floor. And I had a flat tire. I don't know if it was purposely done by someone that kept pushing me to go to some white van to get my tire fixed. But yeah, Dollar Tree was about to close in 10 minutes and the ladies were not very nice to let me sit there and be safe while they cleaned the store and Uber came to pick me up. It's a crazy world we live in. These were all women working in that store and they weren't willing to let me sit there for 10 minutes to get in my Uber and it was already dark and I was not in the best neighborhood. I'm just super frustrated, guys. It's just a lot. And I'm seven minutes in, so let me just... Again, guys, all the information is in my description box below if you want to check that out. Um, I really, really would appreciate it. I'm sure that Joel will too. I'm sure that one day I will sit here with Joel and he will thank you guys. All right, let me get to it. I got this bag. So cute. Isn't it cute? And it says Joy. So I just grabbed it because I love gnomes and I'm really not doing Christmas gifts like that because this girl is really on a tight budget. I do what I can because I either pay my rent, my bills, and take care of my Joel and get what I need in this house. And sometimes I can splurge a little bit here and there. So that's why I've been waiting to gather enough stuff because. But if I do come across something that I can... If it's on a nice budget that I can handle it, it will be cute to just give to my daughter or something, something nice in here. So I, I just had to give him. He was cute. And then I grabbed this one because I'm part, I'm pretty sure that we're going to put Miss Amaya June's stuff in here. She's good. My husband has gotten some nice stuff for her that she's going to, she's going to lose it. But I thought this was an amazing bag to fit all this stuff in here. I love it because I love all the gingerbread things. And it says, Candy Cane wishes gingerbread kisses. Look how cute. She's adorable. And then I love the pink, the pop of pink. I just love the whole thing of this bag. I wish I would have done pink on the side too. Oh my God, I love this bag. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. I just took off my nails after church. <laughs> oh, and then I bought some... Halloween bags that I never hauled and it's been sitting here so I'll probably just post a picture somewhere around here nothing spectacular I just needed two little bags to do boo bags for the kids because we, we don't take them out to get candy we just give them like a big fun basket or bag with like candy popcorn whatever we spend some time with them watch movies you know stuff like that and then I grabbed this one I have another bag somewhere here I grabbed this one because look how cute. And it says, wishing you a happy holiday. And I thought it was super pretty to take my daughter some stuff or my sister, whoever we spend time with. And I want to take them like a little um, thank you Christmas um, for having us over in a cute little bag. And then I'm really, I'm really thinking of getting the Mr. and the Mrs. Glass um, set for my sister and throw some little like, I don't know, 
but I love this. I love this bag. I don't know if I show you the side already, guys, because I am not up there. I do have other stuff that I have bought. Oh, here's the other bag. Everybody's been hauling this one. And after I saw it, I was like, well, should I get it? Should I not get it? But so, like I said, I'll probably just use them for Christmas to share the love. Whatever I can do. I'm pretty sure I'll do a lot of little things in, in our budget. But it's not about what you spend. It's about what you put together. And you can do amazing things at Dollar Tree, okay? My sister loves makeup, so even makeup will be great. With some, like, um, like um, goodies in there for the home to eat. Stuff like that. You can do so many things without having to spend an arm and a leg. Um, Sabrina's always asking me, well, not always, but she'll ask me for black socks and we haven't had, I don't know what happened to all my black socks because even you guys send me socks and I don't know what happened. At one point, Adi and I and Amaya June were all sharing socks and I think that's what happened. So I got these because these are thicker. The quality is thicker. So these are just for Sabrina when she wants to be in a rush in the morning, throw some socks in her Crocs and she takes no off school. You get two, five to nine by the juncture brand again these are thicker i just realized that i got done with gray here i don't know how she's gonna feel about that but this socks then i got these for saint t because he needed black socks too but then i only found the one like this but look how cute these are the little toast and bacon and eggs that's like so we're not fixing them breakfast usually and the little pair of white we really don't do white socks in this family but one pair is not going to hurt nobody. They're so cute. And, oh, wait. I got myself this pair. And these are men, but they not I, to me, men's socks fit way nicer. Nice, nicer. Nicer, like comfy. So I just got a pair of black ones, like when I go to work. And these are 6 to 12, so my feet swell up sometimes. And not sometimes, all the time. I'm always wearing compression socks. You only get one. And, um... Mr. Noah is always asking me for, I took the cover off because I'm washing my stuff. Well, we just did laundry. Um, because Noah's always asking for flashlights. And the last one, I don't know what happened to so us. just got him another one. So he's satisfied and happy because he likes to, you know, a boy at the end. I grabbed, finally found my apple cinnamon earwigs. So I grabbed another one. I love this thing. And since I have a small apartment, guys, it smells amazing. And it's like all over the place. It smells like fun. I mean, we walk through the door. And I want to show you this, but I have another one. And um, I bought Miss Amaya June an anime book that I want to put in her little stocking. And then I found these. I don't know if I show you guys these. If I did, I'm sorry. Like I said, I am not a I'm not. But you get Crayola's Twistable Crayons 5 Mini. Aren't they cute? I don't want to pull it because, I don't know, I'm assuming these are the colors. All right. And then I got Miss Sabrina some Restful Sleep. Um, Melatonin 5 milligrams. Because sometimes she looks for them and she does not find them. So I grabbed one. I could have grabbed a bunch of else. I think I'll just do one. What else is in here, guys? What else? So we got some sopas. Sabrina loves sopas. These are the teriyaki beef. Show me. We got two. Nothing special. So I'm not going to sit there a whole, you know. And then we always get these for backup. So like whenever we run out of milk or we're running late and we didn't get milk or we forgot to buy milk or whatever, we just go to the pantry. Usually have two or three of these until we can go and buy milk. And this is by the um, Gosner Food Whole Milk. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I have this already. So see, this is the book that I got Miss Amaya John. I already have this stuff. These are stuff that I put to the side for Christmas gifts for little stockings. So I'm gonna do that with the little crayons for her. So I already hauled that. 
Uh, what else? Guys, what else do I have? All right, so we got these. Like I said, this has been sitting here forever, guys. So I got these for the boys. I'm just gonna give them to them now because Noah, Noah and I were walking. We're like, oh, those are cute. And he's right away. Can I get one for me and my brother? He's such a good brother. So I got he got the red and blue for Saint T. Look how cute and fun these are. This is cute. Like if you're doing a little birthday party with like this, like a I don't know, ice cream or little floats or little stuff. I don't know, whatever. Like I said, guys, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But you get me, you get me. And I got one of each. I was looking for these because I'm doing everything like greens and whites and black in this living room. So I got these. How cute are these? This is something you can find at the Target Bullseye. I don't know if you hear my stomach, but yeah, it's been a long day. Um, somebody had a birthday, so I'm gonna do these and put them in her little basket. Uh, limited time party hats. So I'm gonna put that. And then I'm gonna put these in there for her too. Birthday cake kisses. Because I sent her lots of kisses. And uh, what else? What's the birthday related? day? I got a card, but I'm not going to read it because I'm going to send it out. And I know she watches my videos, so we're not going to show them. Sorry. Well, look how beautiful it is. I just love it. I loved it from the minute I saw her. And so for the birthday girl, I'm going to put this one too. Because who doesn't love a gummy cluster, nerds? Come on, these are my favorite, but I stay away from them. And then I got, um, Sabrina was telling me, you know, we should put like everything lavender, relaxing, whatever. So I found the Airwigs in the Essential Oils Lavender and Chamomile. This is like a great combo if you want to rest, like, you know, a calming, relaxing atmosphere, in my opinion. So I got this one, but you know I'm going to throw that cinnamon ample, girl. I got the whole bunch of these. Because these are really, really good. If you find them and you still use the Type C, like Sabrina's phone uses Type C, but I grab quite a few because I um I my the boys PlayStation Five control whatever they charge with these, and my husband's like, if you find some more, grab them for their stocking. So I did, and I saw them at another store in blue, but I don't remember what store it was. So. I couldn't, then I couldn't find them. So the last store I went to, they had some. I said, well, I'm going to grab them. I'm not going to snooze. I'm just going to do it. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. Type C in the brand Tech Necessities. So Sabrina so already took one. This is her backup that I got her. And this is for the birthday person. <laughs> I got the makeup stick. This is multi-use, three-in-one. So I use a lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow. I should have grabbed one for myself because I love these kind of colors these are my colors and this is in the pink satin beautiful you know Dollar Tree is getting us with the LA colors they're just changing the the packaging and they're getting us because I bought stuff like this before and then I got the new smoky I don't know how do you say this brand but it's not a Dollar Tree brand manufactured and distributed by design group LLC in Brooklyn New York but I thought it was so pretty to go with like the little soft pinks and stuff that I'm doing. And so, yeah. Sainty has been having a horrible cough, horrible cough. And um, I couldn't find like the chest rub or nothing. And I heard, well, I was raised like my mama used to put Vicks on our feet and socks. And next thing you know, a day or two, we were over it or piece of onion okay and put socks on we were our cough we, we were done with it but i finally found it he's so he's doing a lot better now this is the care chest rub but care all care all vaporizing chest rub i'm just gonna save it in my medicine stuff so next time i'm not going crazy because it's flu season honey hopefully we can dodge that bullet and my last thing for this haul because i got more stuff but i won't have I'm already at 20 minutes and then I have another part that I'm sure I show you guys before this in my car. But I finally found these bad boys. 
I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Ouch. He stabbed me, guys. Hold on. Ouch. Great. You're so rude. Now I'm bleeding. But I finally felt... I was going to say I could smell something. But I finally found these. Look how pretty. And they make them look fancy with the little white tag. Like when you go to a little cute um, Christmas boutique or something and, you, and you're afraid to touch stuff because the tag tells you to keep away. Like look from afar. Like don't touch me unless you're buying me. That's what that tag tells me every time I go to a fancy little store. But look how pretty I got these two sizes because I really wanted the brown to keep the neutral because I'm really not a big fan of like like, I love colors when it comes to me, but in my home, I like a calming. It just makes me feel better. My anxiety is better if I keep it calm and neutral. So I grabbed these two, and I can't believe the size of these things, guys. I have a big head. Do I have a big head? I don't know, but so cute. I'm going to put these in my living room, maybe my shelf or something. And you know what? I'll probably just give you guys a little, let me not, don't hold don't don't hold me on to that because my plate is full honey so you know but i'm gonna try to like do a little like tiny little home tour because i'll be like oh ooh, ooh, we're done <laughs> but oh well but i'll probably show you guys how i put my little stuff together on a tiny budget and you know we're not gonna put a lot i'm not putting a lot i'm not feeling the spirit which is crazy because anywhere from like thanksgiving like fall and christmas and all that it's my favorite time of the year and i love christmas music and it just gives me this fuzzy thing that i love everything in life and it's perfection and nothing can go wrong but this time i'm not feeling it and i'm trying i put my christmas music and i'm trying i'm trying I'm not gonna lie to you but it's not it's not the same it's not the same my mind right away goes to my baby and it's just it crushes me and it's hard but anyways, and then I grabbed this one. I wish I had a green one. Did I? No, I just saw everywhere. I only found them in two stores and they had this like deep red burgundy almost. And then the neutral. But they're cute. They're cute for $1.25. Like heck to the yes. Where do these come from? It says holiday long leaf. And that's a skew number. I don't know. They look so fancy, guys. But yeah, so I'm gonna do another haul after this. Away, I have some content to show you guys, and then I'm gonna have um, happy mail. Yeah, guys. Like I was saying, please forgive me. I don't do it on purpose. It's just there's a lot going on. But I really want to show you guys that I appreciate you. I haven't forgotten about you, and I want to show you some love the same way you show Joel and I. But this is it for this one. And I'm going to be recording some more so you can see me looking like this, honey. Okay. Anyways, I'm just being silly now because I'm tired. I've been, I just got home from this morning, okay. But I hope you guys are doing well. Being safe. Living your best life. There's nothing that I wish more for you guys. Let things go that don't matter. Love one another. Make new memories. And I'll catch you guys on my next time. On my next time. On my next video. Oh, Jesus. I always mess something up. But anyways, yeah. And my all my infos are in my description box below. If you want to show my Joel some love. I love you so, so much. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you on my next one. Okay? And I know I said that already.